this game is crap and should not get good reviews. The problems are, it is Sonic Boom in general. Lagging constantly, boring. Why make a sequel? Sluggish gameplay. It's Sonic Boom. Oh wait, I said that. Sonic Boom, huh? Well, this is our first foray into the Sonic Boom series, guys, and it's going to get interesting. Let's do it. It begins. What's up guys, it's Chaos Dash, back at it again with another video from the lost side of the internet. Hope you guys are doing well today. There's been a giant snow, there's been like a cold front for the entire US. So if you guys are in a snow zone or whatever, be careful out there. I live in I live in I live in the south and it's it's generally pretty warm down here, but it actually snowed the last few days. So it's pretty scary. I mean, I, I'm originally from the northern, the northern states, so I know what it is to be in a colder environment, but for those of you like me who are in the south now and you live in a place where it normally doesn't snow, there's an entire cold front like attacking the US. So you guys be safe out there. Stay safe. Anyway, so guys, today we're going to be doing five hilariously bad reviews for Sonic Dash 2, Sonic Boom. I know you guys have been requesting Sonic Boom and Sonic 06. I see y'all requesting these games like every video. And y'all know I've been holding off on doing Sonic Boom and Sonic 06. And I'm, I'm probably going to do Shadow of the Hedgehog pretty soon too. But I'm holding off on those games, not because I'm ignoring you guys. It's because they are so well, they are so famous in the Sonic series that doing those will overshadow the games that come after. That's why the Sonic games that come after, that's why I'm doing those last. So as usual, guys, uh, these videos are all for fun and review purposes only. So don't take it seriously. It's for comedy. You know, it's all to have a good time. So that being said, let's get into these Sonic Dash 2 reviews. Our first, our first jump, our first boost into the Sonic Boom series. I'm ready. All right, guys, our first review is from, I guess, professional review site, CD Action. And they gave Sonic Dash 2, Sonic Boom, a 30. A, literally a 30, that's terrible, man. CD Action said, the only thing that distinguishes this game from other endless runners is Sonic 09215 Part 68. I don't know what that means. That sounds like a death date. What? That sounds that sounds like it was a like it was some kind of uh military code. It's probably just a simple date that they reviewed it, but still it's pretty scary that they said that. Like like the game is just, you know, that's the that's the game the, the, the game was born. And that's the day the game will perish. <laughs> that's creepy. Anyway, guys, let's move on. All right, guys. Review site Apple and Apps gave Sonic Boom a 40. And they said, Sonic Dash 2 Sonic Boom is a bland and uninspired endless runner that is 1-2 dash right past. <laughs> so you're basically saying, this is a this is a Sonic game I should dash I should dash past, but you got to understand, I mean, it's, it, it's a hallway simulator. I mean, how can you not like hallway simulators? I mean, if this, the Sonic series should be separated by, you know, by, uh, by genres, you know, there's one of our users that said that, oh, I'm sorry. I can't remember who said it though. Oh man. They separated the Sonic series into like, um, into, uh, their errors. Like we got boost to win hallway error. And then you got Genesis error, and you got like the adventure error. That's pretty cool. I like how they did that. Anyway, let's move on, guys. Our next review. So, guys, I had some kind of like an epiphany, some kind of thought, you know. You know, I poke fun, harmless fun, at reviewers for grammatical errors and all their spelling mistakes and all those thoughtless ramblings they do. But I realized that my I myself can't spell. My grammar is pretty bad, and I also ramble on for ten minutes each video. So I just realized that I myself am hilariously bad. I'm a hilariously bad YouTuber. <laughs> Not you guys. It's just me that's hilariously bad. So anyway, our next reviewer name is 3D Wiggles. 3D Quiggles. 3D Wiggles. I hope I said that right. I'm probably offended a lot of uh, Hispanic viewers. But I'm just trying 
to, you know, say it right, you know. Anyway, so I'm a minority. It's okay. Let's anyway. 3D Waco said Sonic Boom Sonic Dash 2 is another mediocre and repetitive mobile 3D endless runner. This time with the presence of Sonic and his friends. So basically, you don't like 3D runners. But I don't understand, Wagos. You can't you can't say you don't like the game if you don't like 3D runners. If you don't like a genre, you shouldn't review it, you know? That's like saying, I hate RPGs. Let me go review Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Oh man, I hate Legend of Zelda. Let me review Legend of Zelda. You gotta at least like the genre. Even if you don't like the game series, you gotta at least like the genre of game that you're reviewing. Let's move on to our last review, guys. All right, guys, there's not that many reviews I can find, but luckily I did find a user review from Brushed Red, and Brushed Red gave Sonic Boom a four. And Brushed Red said, being a fan of Endless Runners and the first Sonic Dash, I was excited for round two. That sounded like Sonic D Sonic.exe. Ready for round two? Unfortunately, it's left a lot to be desired. I still have it on my phone, but it's just not exciting to click on anymore. As far as visuals and gameplay go, it's pretty and it's a fun runner, but you'll start to see where it's just not as good as Sonic Dash. The rings seem to have no value, and the first Sonic Dash, you can use them to upgrade your abilities. You can also upgrade abilities in this game. The character's abilities are passive. You have to put rings into them for the abilities to activate. That's how this game works. As far as I can see from this game, there's no abilities to upgrade. Instead, you get sprites, which are one and forever use. You can originally use only one, and others cost red coins, which are pretty rough to earn unless you buy them and pay to win. Just like the last game, you can get each get five each day, but the rest have to be earned from presents, which can also come from events. I don't like the sprite mechanic because it's based on luck. You get a free one every few hours, or you can pay $15 red coins to draw another, or pay 15 red coins to draw another. Ridiculous. I got to agree with Brush Red. Guys, I got to be honest. I like this game. As you can see, I'm still playing it. I have a fun time playing it, but this game is paid to win. To get anywhere, you really have to buy red stars and get and get so you can buy gold coins. But I've been playing the game without cheating, without paying to win. But I have bought the boost. You get it? I bought the boost. Pay to win. Boost to win. I literally bought boost to win. But it's this little thing you can buy, and it boosts your points and stuff like that. So I bought that, and you'll, see, you'll probably see me using it on the screen every now and then. But yeah, the game is pay to win. So if you got the patience to beat the game fair, but if not, you're going to have to shell out some money to get all the good stuff, and it's just not worth it. Just play the game normally, or don't play it at all. But anyway, guys, that about wraps up this review for Sonic Dash 2, Sonic Boom. I try to do another video on this series, and I also want to do more mobile games. Guys, there are some cringy Sonic mobile games out there. I mean, there is cringy mobile games for every game out there. So I'm definitely going to be jumping more into the mobile market. And, you know, guys, it's pretty crazy, man. Our review adventure has just begun. We are like, like, it's like 60 videos of reviews. And we just scratched the surface. I mean, not even scratched the surface. We're not even 0.5% into bad reviews. And this is going to get crazy, guys. 2018 is going to be lit. And that was crazy, too. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Dash that like button if you enjoyed it. Or boost the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel for more bad reviews and other lost content. And I'm Chaos. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you all in the next video. I'll be in the comments. Peace.